people that you've helped, like Bird and others, what is your basic philosophy on healing? What, what must we do or what must you do to help someone get healed? Okay. In healing, unlike the prevailing philosophy of school of thought, the allopathic, which described disease to be multiple, well, naturally, coming from an African gene or resonance, I cannot accept that. I don't even know that. But the African dictate, that jungle dictate says, look man, if we live in the forest without any clothes and without any money, life must be very easy. So in curing diseases, all we have to do is look at the cause of diseases. And we find that disease would be present if you're not eating the food consistent with you. Once your body is sent into the state of disarray, then you find there's mucus breaking down in your body. The mucus membrane is necessary to maintain health because it is the membrane that protects the cells. But when you break the mucus membrane down, it turns to pus and you expose the cells. Then you're in trouble. Well, I, lo I learned that through my own deduction, my own sight, my own perception. I then made compounds that would address the removal of the pus from the body and allow the cells, the mucus cells to grow back and protect the cells. So, they asked me in the Supreme Court, Dr. Victor Herbert, who was in defense of the state, said that I was ignorant and unscientific because I said that there is only one disease. The mucous membrane has been compromised and wherever that compromise has taken place, a disease would be present. 